I'm fascinated by why America loves to watch people in prison. I don't think there's anything more telling right now than this 24-7 obsession with incarceration. Painkillers is about an ex-cop, ex-dope fiend, who ends up going to San Quentin as a drug counselor. And his job is to find out if this guy, who is bragging about the experiments he did at Auschwitz, is in fact Joseph Mengele. Painkillers is a book about how we got where we are in America and uh, our origins as supporters of Nazis in World War II, bleeding into uh, our contemporary fascination with watching people in jail and the marriage between born-again Christianity and sex for hire resulting in evangelical hookers who uh, practice abstinence while indulging in every other blend of erotic faith-based pleasure. What I'm trying to explore is not just how we got here, but how in fact nobody's hands are clean. There certainly are a lot of personal demons in uh, painkillers and uh, in this book I wanted a way to weave that personal history through the main character who is a codeine addicted ex-cop who's off smack but can't quite get clean, married to a damaged former hooker bulimic incest victim, divorced then falling in love again. Because to me, the real kind of love that lasts is the kind where your damage loves their damage and you don't have any secrets. It's just about that thing in the eyes that says, I know where you've been.